Hello everyone, welcome to the official channel of Axel Design Technologies. In this video, we will talk about the BricsCAD licensing deactivation and activation process. So if you are already a BricsCAD customer or you are already using BricsCAD and want to transfer the software, the license from one system to another system, there is a very simple steps which you can follow to transfer the license from one system to another system. So in BricsCAD, basically we have two options. We can deactivate the license and at, at the same time, we also have the option to revoke the license. Revoking the license is used in any, uh, any uh, scenario where your system got crashed. But deactivating the license and activating the license, it's very easy. Whenever you want to transfer your license from one system to another system, you can use these simple steps to transfer your license. So go to a new drawing after opening your drawing you just need to type a command called license manager and there we have this option called manage your license so click on that and there you can see the license id which is activated in this system and we want to deactivate this license so I will take a screenshot so that I will take a reference and I will show you how we can to use this uh, the same license to deactivate it. So now I'm just deactivating the license. So click on deactivate. It will ask you about the deactivation on this system. So just click on yes and your software will get deactivated in couple of seconds. So this is the basic steps we need to follow whenever we want to deactivate your license from any system. Now you can see my license is get deactivated and there you can see the activate button and we need to click on this activate button to activate the license and put the license key which uh, which is received from our, our site. You just need to type the license key and press OK. And when you press OK, it will take some time to activate the license and later your, your, you can use this software as per the your licensing policy, whether it is a perpetual license, whether it is a snow lock license. Now you can see my license is activated successfully and I can use my license easily. I hope you got the idea. This is the first option which is uh, mostly used whenever you want to change your license system pro or, or you want to transfer your uh, license from one system to another system. We can use this, these simple steps to deactivate the license. Second option is uh, revoking the license and that is only valid up to two times. If you need more than that, for that we need to take a support from the Dixis team side and in that scenario, you need to be in the AMC that only then we, can, we are able to take the support from the big system side. So revocation is a part when we take, we, we revoke the license whenever your system got crashed and there is something uh, where your system is not working properly, your window is not working pro properly. In that scenario only, we are using the revocation option. So I hope this video gives you a complete idea how we can de deactivate the license. In any case, if you want to understand about the revocation, you can connect with us and we will try to help you, help you out. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will definitely share you some more videos. Thank you. Have a great day.